My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UI path. Today we will talk about how we can zip and ra and unzip and unra with UI path. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will help me a lot. So the case is that we got these compressed files here. This is a WinRa archive, but it could bin and WinZip too. That'll work. So we need to unra these things. And we go to manage packages and we click the all packages search for unzip like this and then we take this ballerina zip unzip activities by Balamugan. click install after you mark it then click save wait uh, 10 seconds maybe and uh, now or now we can uh, unzip and unwrap and zip and wrap so uh, you can see that by search activities zip and we get this unzip and this zip. First, we will unzip or actually unra our uh, archive. So drag this in. We need a zip file, so the full path of it, and we need a folder name to extract the zip file. That's where we want the zip file to go, the files to go. So let's go to our directory. This is the file. So shift right click, then copy as path, and then we can uh, go over here and just paste it in. Like this. This is their directory, their, their full path. And then we need to choose where we want uh, the files to or be extracted. And this, this, we can just take the same folder actually. And then we'll just remove this last part. So it will just go in the same folder. This is just a file name. And this should work. And we can try it. So let's run the file and see if we can unzip these files. Go to our directory and we can see the three files of, I can open it so you can see there's only three files. So these three files, those are the one that we extracted here. That's clever. But now we want to add these three files to an archive. So um, let's see how that is done. We'll just delete this unzip and then we'll drag in the zip. Let's choose a uh, zip. Um, archive this time because we worked with RAR before, but you can just change it. So first we need a folder, a file path, and uh, the folder will just be the same folder as before. So um, we want um, to specify where we can find our files, and that's in this folder. So what you do here is that you can specify se uh, several folders. However, we will only specify one here, but you need to do it in an array. So curly brackets, and then you can paste in the folder. Um, let me just delete this last part. So this is our folder. And if you want more folders to go into uh, this archive, you just add a comma, and then quotation marks, and then blah, 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 the, the other path you want to uh, add files from. But we will only have uh, this folder, so these three files. Then click OK. And then we can choose uh, the folder, the path, and the zip file name that we want to use. So uh, let's say that we, let's just delete this one. Let's say that we will um, use this one so we can use the, uh, the path. So just shift, right click, and then copy as path, and then delete it. So now we got the path of it. We can use that, um, open this, and then we can paste it in here. And the path, let's try to say, Let's call it files two zip. So this one will archive it to files two using the zip compression method. So click OK, and now I can see if we can archive these three files into a archive called zip uh, files two. We could, and then that's a zip archive. So that's it for now. If you liked the video, and if you enjoyed it, you can subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, have a very good day. Bye bye.